go somewhere! <laughs> Why am I stuck on this one screen? Hi, welcome back to the Spamless Gamer. Today we're playing four games for the NES. We are playing Fax Xanadu. Um, we are playing, what else? Flying Dragon, Jordan vs. Bird, and Adventures of Dino Ricky, whatever that one is. Alright, so our first game today is Fax Xanadu, which came out in 1989. And the box art is kind of plain. Dangers and wing boots, mantras and monsters await you. Fantastic. Unlock the doors of legend of your journey through Fax Xanadu. You are elves' last hope outside the town walks uh walls lurk monsters with powers to destroy anything in their path inside the walls water and time are running out soon the ancient town of eloris or whatever will vanish into eternity only you can save that town no one else dares venture beyond the walls onto the world tree where towns and fortresses precariously await the whims of fate at the hands of evil you are searching for water source and your antidote to the poison that makes your water undrinkable to find them you'll need gold food magic speed and a sword and luck Every town holds a new mystery, every fortress a new danger, merchants will sell you magic and valuable tools, but it's up to you to figure out what they need. Long secret mantras help you slip through the mists, but will you survive the next challenge? This is Faxanadu, the legend, the adventure, the incredible journey on the world tree. The search continues. Use secret codes to re-enter Faxanadu right where you left off with all your tools and magic intact. <laughs> so this is the second installment. No, this is... This is a spin-off of a game called Xanadu, which is the second installment of the Famicom's Dragon Slayer series, of which we played Dragon War, or Legacy of the Wizard was part of that that we played earlier. So this is a, a portmanteau uh, Manto of uh, Xanadu and Famicom, Fax Xanadu, or something. I don't know. Let's play it. Fax Xanadu, start, continue. Who wears short shorts? Ooh, he's an ugly guy. I've been on a long journey. I came back to my hometown to talk to myself and find it's almost deserted. The gate is closed, people are gone, and the walls are crumbling. I wonder what happened. Somewhere. <laughs> Why am I stuck on this one screen? There's two buttons and four directions to go and nothing seems to do anything. Oh, I that was a door. I want you to see the king right away. Although you've just arrived. Great. What the heck is that thing? Get out of here. I gotta go see the king. There is a mark of Jack by the keyhole. Oh, okay, Jack. Well, that went well. Don't have negative thoughts. Remember your mantra. Whoa. Hi. You are going to see the king take this ring. This ring will identify you. Don't lose it. Ring of Elf. Oh yeah, I know all about the rings of Sauron. I want you- Oh, come on! Beefy man. Smoking dude. The 
dwarfs are already in town. It looks like the end is near. Oh, oh, I see. I see how you feel about dwarves. Usually towns are kind of a safe haven in games, aren't they? Oh, this must be where the king is. Hi, king. Your, your castle is huge. There's one room. Glad you could come. Disaster has befallen us. The elf fountain water, our life source, has stopped. The wells are dry, drying up. Many men want to out. Nobody came back. You are our last hope. I shall give you 1,500 golds. Prepare for your journey. With this money, it will be a dangerous journey. Take care of yourself. Screw you, king. I got gold. I'm moving to the next town. here to buy, come here to sell. What would you like? Thank you for shopping at Kmart. Oh, I have it. Okay. Why can't I equip it? Oh, okay. I'm just sitting here smoking my cigarette. Hello, I said, so cute. What do you like? What would you like? I don't want your stupid keys, jerk. Alright. Don't try too hard. <laughs> I won't, believe me. A meteorite fell into the world tree and created havoc. At the end of the confusion, the dwarves of the underworld, dwarves of the underworld, came up and attacked the elves. Nobody knows the reason. Probably because you guys are horrible people. And treat the elves like jerks. Alright, what do you want? Guide me brings energy for 50 golds. I didn't say I wanted to buy it, you jerk. You don't just walk into a freaking grocery store and they just shove food at you and charge you money, whether or not you want it or not. Uh, I know I can't get in that door. That door is mean. I don't want to talk to you. Go straight ahead and you'll find the town of Tune. You can't leave? Go buy a stupid key from that jerk back there. It's not him. I got a stabby weapon now. Give me your stupid key. Gross man. What would you like? I guess I'll get key J. Thank you for shopping. <laughs> this work just to get out of the stupid town. I have a stabby knife. I know there's a mark of jack by the keyhole. I want to use my key. Oh my god. I've used the key.
Also, the music seems inappropriate, I think. It just doesn't feel... Like it belongs. This would be like heroic adventure music, but... Oh, what are you doing? This is a bad place to set up shop. Hello, I sell tools. What would you like? What would you like? Death. Give me death. I can't afford your crap. Well, that's, that's good game design. Okay. Oh, goodness. Okay. Let's rate this game. Pax and the new graphics. They're a bit muddy and dull. I'm gonna give it a three. Uh, sound. Sound is fine. Five. Music. Music is fine, if not a little bit inappropriate feeling. Story. Um, story is pretty cool. We'll give that a seven. Controls. Controls seem average. Funness. Um. Yeah, I could. Does it hold my attention? Maybe a five and a half. I could see playing a little more of that. Overall, Faxanadu is going to get a 6. Uh, that's Faxanadu. Let's move on to the next game. All right, next game today is called Flying Dragon, The Secret Scroll, which came out in 1989. It's got a really long title. Uh, so this is Flying Dragon, The Secret Scroll, and we got uh, karate men looking up at a dragon and making a face. And let's see. Suddenly, from an evil world, a mysterious super corp, the Tusk soldiers appear, carrying a letter of challenge to Shirinji. What's the secret of the Hairu no Ken Scrolls? I don't know. Roshi begins his tr journey to the world tournament where the secret of scrolls will be revealed. After a prolonged silence, the legend returns. Never heard of him. Uh, looks like you can defend and attack. Defeat Tusk soldiers using Hairu no Ken and retrieve the secret scrolls. I don't want to. Okay. Let's play the game. Hi, Ru no Ken is the ultimate kung fu stance that gives the impression of a flying dragon. Cool. Flying dragon, the secret scroll. I'm a beginner. In compliance with Master John's Juan's last request, Ryuhai begins his journey to Shorinjin. Shorinjai? I don't know. The journey. The journey again. Alright, there's just lots of dudes to punch. What? I don't want to hit you. I thought you were a good person. Why are you so mean? How do I get that? I can't jump. I can't attack when I'm crouched. This is a dumb kung fu stance. What is that? I'm dead. Okay. Graphics. Uh, they're weird, glitchy, and not too good, too. Sound. Sound is fine, I guess. Music. Music is average. Story. Um, uh, you're going to a fighting tournament or something? Three. Controls. Not so good, Al. One. Funness. Uh, one. Does it hold my attention? A, uh, half a one. And overall, the Flying Dragon Secret Squirrel game is going to get a one. That's it. Let's move on to the next one. All right, our next game today is Jordan vs. Bird 1 on 1, which came out in 1989. And we can see from the box art here that it's got a basketball guy and another basketball guy 1 on 1 featuring three exciting games, Jordan vs. Bird 1 on 1, Michael Jordan slam dunk contest, and Larry Bird's three-point shootout. And the Wyatt man is facing off in basketball against a bird. Half court is now in session. Jordan vs. Bird, here's your chance to perform those, perform those fakes Drives, rebounds, and strategies that make Bird and Jordan the NBA's best. Bury three-pointers from Larry's sweet spots, or slam and jam Jordan style. Plus, foul, steals, shot clock pressure, and stat screens. Oh, stat screens! Who's the best, Jordan or Bird? The verdict is up to you. Uh, okay, Michael Jordan, the slammer. Never heard of that nickname for him. 
1985 Rookie of the Year, two-time All-Star, NBA top scorer, 87 to 89, playoff game record, 63 points, 1988 season MVP. Uh, never went on to do anything beyond that. Larry Bird, the shooter, 1980 Rookie of the Year, nine-time All-Star, three-time season MVP, two-time playoff MVP, NBA All-Time three-point leader. And we got three different games. We got one on one. Your bird or Jordan play a friend or a computer for more skill levels. Jordan slam dunk contest. Aerial warfare for one or four players. Choose from ten rim benders. And birds three point shootout for one or four players. Sixty seconds to swish him or wish him. Okay, goodness, goodness. I have no uh, facts, fa uh, fast facts for this. So let's get right into the game. All right. So this is Jordan versus Bird. Press start. I am. Why is nothing happening? I'm pressing. There we go. By EA Sports. One on one full game. One on one, 15 or 11. One on one warm up. Slam dunk contest. Let's just do. We'll just see what that's like. Jordan. Okay. So I guess I'm going to be Bird. Because I don't know what. What's going on? Okay. Player two is Jordan. Or Bird. I don't know. That's weird. Tell it I hate it. Program and audio visuals by Rare. Yeah, let's try uh, a slam dunk contest. Number of players, one. Okay, I did none of that. What? Okay. Well, that seems like whatever that is for you. Um, let's rate it. So graphics, graphics are average at best. Sound. There is some, it's not too great. Music, I had some, we'll give it a five there. Eh, four and a half. Uh, Storyline, basketball, controls. Controls are a little weird, especially in the menus, which is not where you want bad controls. Uh, funness, I'm sure with two players, maybe it was fun back in the day, but I'd rather play double dribble. So we're just gonna give it a uh, two and a half there. Does it hold my attention? Not really. And overall, Jordan versus Bird, one on one, is going to get a two and a half. Let's move on to the next one. And our final game today is Adventures of Dino Ricky, which came out in 1989. And the box art here just says Hudson's Hoff and features a caveman kicking a T-Rex in the face, which is always a bad idea. Adventures of Dino Ricky. Hey, it's all one word. Dino Ricky. And the back of the box. Oh, let's zoom out of that. Okay. Adventures of Dino Ricky. Two words. Okay. In prehistoric times, when ancient dinosaur creatures ruled, the adventures of Dino Ricky began. A courageous and intelligent young man, Dino Ricky, with a hyphen, is determined to establish mankind's future in this violent age. Dino Ricky must explore and fight his way through deserts filled with quicksand, sinking lotus swamps, dark caverns, deep canyons. Oh, dark caverns and deep canyons. As Dino Ricky begins his adventure, he's armed with a shooting weapon that will charge and progress from rocks to axes, from axes to boomerangs, from boomerangs to fiery torches by collecting fist icons. There are many hidden items that will help Dino Ricky to increase his strength. Uh, life, fly like an eagle, one that will change Dino Ricky into Macho Ricky. <laughs> That's cool. The ancient warrior and many more. He's a macho man. N Dino Ricky will need all the ancient knowledge and items he can find before facing the dinosaur bosses, Tyrannosaurus, uh, Petrodon, Monsterfly, and Giant Cobra. You know, the famous dinosaurs all the kids love, Monsterfly and Giant Cobra. So this game was released in Japan by a company uh, published by Ricksoft, and this is the one and only game they ever published. There's probably a good reason for that. Let's find out what it is. The Adventures of Dino Ricky. Oh, there he is. Okay, so I can move. So it's a shmup. It's a shmup. I expected a platformer. Um, also, I expected dinosaurs, not these weird whatevers they are. But okay. Seems to me like there's enough dinosaurs you didn't have to make up weird creatures, but you do you, game. 
Rick Soft was never heard from again. Oh, I fell in the water? Didn't know I had to avoid the water. Now I have a boomerang! Oh, I fell in the water again. That's stupid. Tell it I hate it. I want the diamond. Alright. Alright, weird dinosaurs that didn't exist. Oh, I have to do platforming? Okay. Game. Ugh. Platforming in a shoot 'em up deserves a medal, or maybe not a medal, maybe the opposite. Back to the Stone Age. Losing all my power ups. Adventures of Dino Ricky. Let's rate it. So, graphics, you can give it a three. Sound, a three. Music, I think music. Yeah, music's okay. We'll give it a four. Story, a three and a half. Controls, um, the controls are fine. It's just an average shmup. Nothing to write home about. Three and a half. Funness, I have a two and a half. Does it hold my attention? Uh, one and a half. And overall, Dino Ricky is going to get a three. And that's it. Please like, subscribe, and check me out on Patreon. And we'll see you next game.